so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to continue the customization of the Arch Linux that we had just uh, customized with a graphical interface we had installed a DWM the xorg display server and a simple terminal and we have also applied some of the patches uh, so now we are going to uh, do a little more customization in this video and I'll try to make this video as short as I can so let's go mm. so the box is loading and let me go ahead and add a focus to this box mm. So it should be visible there now. And let me make it before that. Let me log in and let's start the graphical interface. And I'll make it full screen with the host key, the control key, and the F. So we are here. Let me open up a terminal with Alt Shift Enter. So we have got a terminal here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, there's a particular font that I liked. So I'm going to install it uh, and it is available in the Arch repository. So let me see if I can remember its name or not. So its name was something like nerd fonts, nerd fonts, sorry, nerd fonts and uh, Fira code, I think. Its name was Vira Gold. I'm not sure about the nerd font part. Maybe it is Vira Gold nerds nerd fonts. Give me a second. Let me just go on the web and search for it. Vira mm. Gold nerd font. Arch Linux. This is how you can just search for any. Yeah, it is called Nerd Fonts Fira Code. What did I do? Fira Code. Wait, what was it called? It is called a Nerd Fonts Fira Code. Okay. Let me open this up. Nerd Fonts Fira Code. Okay, it's not available in the Arch repository now I remember it is uh, available as a git package so we can go ahead and uh, pull that or clone that let me go into the config because generally I if I clone something or get something I do it okay I have also installed mpv all too I was just checking the videos and stuff you can do that using a sudo pacman s and the mpv an MPV is just uh, something similar to VLC media player but it is um, okay it is similar to VLC media player so uh, we are going to do git clone sgps colon slash slash au dot r dot arch linux dot org this should be it if I remember correctly node fonts uh, it was vira code this is how generally those things are named if i tried it correctly okay so we have cloned our directory we can see there let's move into that cd node fonts we can see a pkg build so what you have to do is just make peak package dash si and it will do the thing for us let us give it a little bit of time after this the font that I was talking about will be downloaded and I will download it and install also I mean and I will then uh, change the font of this terminal to that by going to uh, going into the configuration so it is doing that and while it is doing that let me tell you about another thing I was talking okay I was talking about a thing called D menu okay I'll tell you about that later it looks like we have done that 
let me go ahead and do st let's uh, make changes to first the config.def.h i'll change the font to it is right now this thing liberation mono i'll comment it using a multi-line comment thing and i'll start my from here uh, fira code node font should be this and then a colon let me write and quit after that let me sudo copy config.f.h to config.h and make make clean install it and let me just restart the dwm with alt shift q the dwm if i open a new window there we are so we have got our font too mm, it's good now okay so that's just a file called record i was just testing some things again i said about mpv so i was talking about d menu i have talked about d menu uh, in my earlier videos it is a kind of program launcher similar to that on our windows system like if we press the windows button this thing opens up and we can launch any program by typing its name and we have to type the correct name entire name but uh, the menu is a little bit, bit more flexible so let me show you what the menu is so we will have to first locate where the menu is let me search for it success d menu and on the link was to dl.success.org let me search if there's a d menu here okay probably you can't see this screen right now or you can i don't know but i am doing some so i will paste these links there's a thing called tools d menu might be here yes there is d menu right here here i will go ahead and download the 4.8 i think if i remember 4.9 or 4.8 was the one that i am used to downloading generally so we go full screen let's change to config and we get that link that link okay so this is also one thing that we have to make in this uh, configure in this thing in this box i'll make a video about that late, later the org sorry so as tools slash the menu dash what's it called it is called uh, tools slash the menu dash let's take the 4.8 maybe 4.8.tar.gz and we'll get it for us just fetching it so okay let's wait a little bit for it so what this does is as i explained helps us to let's extract this and run programs directly from the not such uh, i mean we can run programs using some key bindings here let's ex not extract extract for extracting we use x at uh, tar xvf extract verbose the file name we are talking about d menu so it's extracted let me remove the tar one this thing d sorry d menu menu dot tar let's cd into d menu this and since there's a, a make file let's do that sudo you can see there's a binary file already present there i'll tell you about that later this uh, don't worry about this thing it's not an error it's just a warning we'll see a d menu and some other binaries have appeared so just i'm going to do is uh, i can type d menu or the key binding for this is alt or the mod key and p so when i press alt p or mod key p uh, you can see there's some change in the uh, on the top of this system now if i search for example if i search for firefox you can see there's it uh, now this is the the cursor you can see i can move that blue thing by the arrow key if i move it to the system first boot 
and then hit enter it uh, then whatever that thing is it will start and since it is on firefox right now and since it's the last option when i enter e and if i uh, if i now press the enter or now hit the enter button firefox will load let me show you i just hit the enter key and firefox fox has loaded let's uh, kill this or and end this process by alt shift c and so this is the menu it will help you in many ways for example if you want to power off this is the thing you just enter power off reboot this is the thing so this is a very helpful but this also comes with many patches but i am not going to show you uh, how to apply patches what i am going to do is i ha have seen uh, one of those uh, patches one of those d menu packages that are already patched with some of these features that i require and uh, that is by a person who is also very famous in youtube uh, his name is something brody uh, brody robertson i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correct or not i'm sorry if i'm not so this is his d menu dot file what we are going to do is we are going to get clone this thing instead of using the fresh d menu so before uh, installing this one we have to uninstall the previous one it's a make file we can just go sudo make uninstall and it will do the thing for us the binary will still remain but those uh, binaries from the main bin slash bin files have been removed so let's remove this d menu the menu uh, you can uh, enter hit enter and then give this permission like uh, y y y many files appear so i what i prefer is i just do sudo i don't have to hit enter for every time it's it asks whether you want to delete or not so it will be removed now let me go ahead and git clone this thing which is github github.coms dot com slash body robertson slash d menu this is the thing let's git clone that and it has been cloned let's move into that the folder d menu you can see there are some things and there is a make file too some patches uh, in this patches we can see what patches were applied these all patches have been applied already so we can just go ahead and sudo make clean install and don't worry about those things now if i just refresh or restart the dwm and now if i do uh, alt p what i liked most about this was that it uh, if i just type fir and uh, when i hit e it the last option uh, available would be only firefox okay so what it does is uh, i will not be having to hit the enter key but uh, since it's the last option available so it will automatically uh, detect that i have to open uh, this file only so i don't have to hit the enter key it will do it uh, itself so i just i will just complete the e to make the firefox option unique and when i did that it automatically detected what i had to do so if i i mean if i just go ahead and do p o it's very i mean now the system will get power off if i just do pow the system will automatically get power off because that's the only option uh, that comes when uh, i do pow so this is very nice nicely passed d menu i like this one very much you can mm, go ahead and install uh, the fresh one uh, d menu and patch it however you like there are many patches available so we have installed the d menu we have implemented a nerd font uh, a nerd font a uh, special font nerd font is a thing that also helps you to let me show you let me install uh, open firefox with the d menu and uh, there's one thing nerd font cheat sheet for example if you want to use some special symbols some glyphs i think that's what is called you can go ahead and search for something like if i search for arch symbol not every symbol is present but here it is if i uh, click on the icon it will copy it and if i paste with control shifts v on the terminal it is pasting that thing we can see it so 
I mean you can use it to customize these things you can change these numbers to symbols and these stuffs and uh, many videos are there also I can make one too maybe I'll make one so let me close this in Firefox and now what I'm going to do is I talked about PyCom and I think I think we have installed one right the PyCom the compositor if I do this it says reinstalling so I will know know it we have a py, uh, pycom so what uh, this pycom does is it is it helps to customize your window a little bit more okay before that before that if you remember in the last video we had the set a uh, what do we say a wallpaper but now we can see the wallpaper is vanished i mean it did not load or something so for that um, let us go back to home we are at home we have to add some lines of code in the x init rc which are let me show you what i'm talking about so when x init rc loads what we want to do is uh, as the window manager is getting executed to we also want the wallpaper this is a comment you can comment anything the command is nitrogen dash dash restore and uh, this symbol to just uh, make uh, the thing the process the command run in the background i think nitrogen i have not spelled it correctly and restore restore and so before uh, restoring we should first assign a what do we say it? we should first assign a wallpaper and uh, if you remember we had also installed the arch wallpapers package i think i can find it now let me just uh Try and give it a try once again. All papers and these asterisks stand for whatever anything could be before the wallpapers, could be after the wallpapers. And let's make the errors go away. What am I doing? Okay, so if I do this, it will find me everything. Okay, it was not all papers. This was a mistake that we did last time too. There's one thing uh, in local too. Last time we uh, went into this and find the license.md. Let us go into this and uh, just uh, for hitting the last shot, let's see if we find something there. And what are these things? They're files. Okay. Uh, okay, leave it. Uh, okay, leave it. No problem. Uh, we had downloaded, by the way, wallpapers, some in the downloads, right? And uh, these two were those things. Okay, uh, there's also one simple uh, image viewer called the X SXIV. So, to view those images, we can use SXIV. Or we can just use sdg open that's a command to open if you don't know how to open a particular thing you can this use this command and it will try to find the uh, appropriate application to open whatever you are trying to open with so let's let me do sdg open index.png and see what it will use to open this thing so it used the browser to open the image and let me now go ahead it's a very lightweight image viewer image opener the sxiv so it is available in the arch repos i think should be it is and let us install it now it is installed so we will use sxiv the index png so it is uh, it looks like this it's uh, bindings are simple key bindings if you do f it will get full screen if you mm, press plus it will zoom in minus zoom out uh, again f and uh, to exit the full screen q to q to quit and that's simple as simple as that and i think we had used this y1 as the uh, wallpaper so let's go ahead an open nitrogen we can either do this or there's a command called okay i'll tell you about that later let's first open nitrogen not from here but 
using the D menu if I type NITR the only option was nitrogen for the, those things let me apply this because changes would be applied now let me close this with control uh, alt shift c this will be closed we have i think uh, yes a wallpaper now and uh, let me show you um, let me reboot and see if the wallpaper is, wallpaper is getting restored or not so i'm opening d menu with alt p i'm typing r e b o o so there are two options so we will have to just uh, tab or enter anything no tab is not working right now uh, we will have to press enter because the blue thing is on the the cursor is on the reboot so it should reboot the machine so I'll go ahead and reboot it it is rebooting and that's our grub and it should ask us for our username and password anytime now so let me enter those credentials start the xorg server and there we go the wallpaper is restored now i was talking about pycom right the compositor so the compositor is actually a thing that helps you to customize your uh, desktop a little bit more and i would not recommend this to anyone who is having less resources because pycom sucks very much resources so it will be only uh, what uh, advised by me to you to use this thing only if you have a good amount of resources and only if you want to actually use it so uh, i have not used arch linux for a very long time but in the period that i have used it i just found it useful for i mean blurring backgrounds of windows to uh, you to for example make the backgrounds transparent or something like that so i'm just going to show you one thing what we can do with pycom so I'm opening the Firefox with with D menu, pressing the Alt P and then Fire, and uh, I will search for a patch of ST, which, when applied, will help Pycom to. It's called Alpha Patch. This one, uh, Alpha Patch, which uh, which will help the Pycom to make the background like this, as you can see in the image, a little bit. Uh, transparent and we can control the transparency in the configuration of st so we'll do this 8.2 um, copy the link and we'll go into the configuration of st here we are we have applied some patches already in the previous videos let me just double get this thing and it should be installed Anytime now, the internet connection is not good, so it is downloaded. It is called the where is it? ST Alpha. Here it is. Let's try to patch ST Alpha patch, and everything succeeded. Very nice. So let's copy the config .h to config.h and make clean sudo make clean install and let's uh, restart dwm and if i open a terminal you see that there is no transparency because we have not uh, called upon pycom yet so for these changes to be implemented let me open another terminal here let's work in this one what we are going to do is we are going to copy the configuration of pycom now and if i remember it is in let's see xdg and the pycom ah uh, yes it is xdg let's see xdg pycom.conf or configuration we are going to copy this in the dot config directory and it is it should be copied there let's move there into the dot config you can see there's a pycom.conf let's edit that thing all we have to do on the virtual box is we'll search for vsync i'll hit the forward slash and search vsync and hit enter yeah we have to just uncomment these lines vsync i will not set it either to true or false i'll just let those two be commented as they are and now may if i did have thing correctly i think it should work so let's uh, restart the dwm and open up a terminal 
and uh, it is not working so maybe it might uh, there might be some issue here let me just look into that so let's look into the config 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 uh, and make config.f.h let's see if there's something called alpha so there is one thing called alpha i think for the changes to take place we need to reboot the system so let's try that let's reboot no not from here we have installed d menu reboot like that and let's hope that the pycom pycom works the patch was applied uh, correctly because there was no error reported if i remember or there might be something that i missed let's start the xorg display server and let's start open up the terminal okay nothing here so no problem and let's go to the config st and we will look into the config dot f dot h we are searching for alpha let's try to change its value to something like this let's go back and search let's see if we can find something in this configuration so we have applied pycom.conf and there might be something that i'm missing i have disabled this is it that we have to make this equal to false let's try this i have restarted the reader room so changes are not taking place right now i will so i uh, okay so i i will uh, make a warning statement too i'll put it in the description and try to make it there too in the videos that uh, uh, so i would recommend you all to not do those changes that i just did with pycom i'll uh, bring those changes in the next video and try to see what where it have failed actually so till then i think uh, this should be the point where i should end this video because it will be very long now so let's just okay 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 okay, okay. wait a second i just remember one thing now for pycom uh, to do that work <laughs> okay there is no warning okay okay end it i think it should work now i just remember that we have not implemented the code in xinit rc i mean we have not run pycom if if pycom is not running then how will it do those things for us i just remember that compositor let's hope this works uh, the video will icom dash f i remember is the command and the and is i think is necessary and let's reboot and hope that the things work okay so here let's fingers crossed mm let's log in and start the xorg server and i'm going to now press the alt shift enter okay 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 so we have a terminal with transparency and now uh, we can control the transparency by going to the configuration dot conf so all we had to do actually was to add that comment which comment not comment the command in the x in it rc not those things where i went into the alf uh, dwm sorry st configuration file and those things we just had to add this line uh, this is just a comment compositor uh, and this is the line that we had to add in the x in it rc and uh, you can i mean maybe you can see it's already making trying to make my system slow uh, and now how we can control the transparency of this thing is very simple let's go into the con dot 
config cdst have yar and let's um uh, edit the config.f.h and you might have seen me already searching for alpha this is the variable that controls the amount of transparency so the lower it is the more transparent it becomes for example if i set it to 4 the dot 4 and let me restart dwm now i'll start a new terminal okay we'll okay okay wait i did not commit those changes right i did not uh sudo because it takes i already explained to you that it takes the uh, things from config.h and not from config.def.h so we will have to copy those files and now make make clean install and it should be done now let me restart the dwm with alt shift q and now let me open a new terminal with alt shift enter and you can see the transparency the amount of transparency in the new terminal it's, is very much and I don't think we need this much transparency so I'll revert back to the old transparency level actually initially it was uh, 0.8 I changed it to uh, 0.7 let me search for alpha 0.7 um, I found out uh, I mean I find 0.7 a little bit I mean good 0.8 is a little bit more dark 0.7 okay we again forgot to do the important thing that is to copy the config.def.h to config.h and make the the sudo make clean install the thing so let me do that clear this start the restart and here we are uh, so this is transfer 0.7 and one more thing we can do is uh, there's also one patch called alpha patch in the dwm which makes the upper this upper thing this uh whatever we are seeing this on the top this uh bar the top bar it makes it uh, kind of transparent so it will become see-through right now it is blue colored the background is also blue colored that's why we are let me just get a new what do we say it new wallpaper to show you what I'm talking about, you, you might have also noticed the time it is taking to load the Firefox has also increased because of PyCom, which is sucking very much resources. Let's just get a good wallpaper and don't forget those resolutions, whatever your resolution might generally, it is 19. It, x 1080 1920 sorry if i remember hmm. so let us take a bright one like this one i don't think it is 1920 it is no it's not the resolution that we want this might be what is it and uh, this is not that much we want a different color Nah, let's take uh, okay, last scroll. Let's take this one. This might be it is bigger than expected, and we can use this one also. But okay, I'll go ahead and use that orange one only. And it is, it also is not how much is this one? Okay, this is 1920 x 1080. Uh, let's copy the link go to the downloads we can do wget we could have directly right clicked and saved the image but i like this thing much okay we just copy the link right we have to copy the image link this one paste it here with ctrl shift c and it should get the image it is downloading it and it has downloaded it now it's called com if i do use sxiv we can see the image here so let's go ahead and set the now the other method that i was talking about let me go to the second workspace open a terminal the other method of setting a wallpaper i was talking about was this i mean nitrogen is a command you can use man nitrogen to see the manual man command is not found let me install it uh, using pack 
and dash s man so uh, let me enter the password and default and it in stored it if i do my man nitrogen we'll see there are some commands like the restore one i used earlier so there's one command for the uh, we were if you remember we are we were using the this command a uh, zoom fill so for this particular thing we can use nitrogen dash hash dash set zoom fill and then the name of the uh, image it is in the downloads i think and it was com if i do this the wallpaper has changed and if I reboot now, you can see the the top bar is in black color. Okay, and when I open a terminal, just to uh, tell what uh, the thing is. For example, if I open a Firefox, it and my cursor is on Firefox. It says on the top, it's Mozilla Firefox. And here, when I click on the terminal, it says it's ST, the simple terminal, and stuff like that. If I close them all, it's just null. So let me just. And now go ahead and open Firefox. It is already open right here, right? Let me close this one. Close this terminal. Go to the first workspace. Here, uh, I will look up for DWM patches. And the uh, patch I said about uh, which makes this top bar a little bit transparent is also called the alpha patch under the patches of dwm here it is and, uh, and if you want to configure i mean use pycom for other things like for blurring and other stuffs there are many options uh you can uh, look up many videos there are there are many videos present for blurring the windows i'll use the i'll use the this one let's hope it works so let's cd into the dwm thing let's double get this and it should be done now okay it's done now what i will do is now the i'm running out of power now so uh, i have downloaded the patch i will show you how to uh, how to install it how to apply that patch in the next video so i'll end the video here so this was it for this video thank you for watching and let me show you how to power off p o w and it is getting powered off and this was it so thank you for watching